Hi, I'm Paul Zwieben from the Zwieben Group at Douglas Elliman, and we're on N2K.TV. I'm here with Noah Rosenblatt from Urban Digs. He has an unbelievable blog that everybody has to check out. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Welcome. Thank Tell you. me a little bit about your blog. Uh, I am a macro, uh, macro-oriented real estate blog on Manhattan Real Estate. It's very interesting. You guys need to go on there. So talk to me about what we want to do with uh, different floor variations and how we price Right. Apartments. So what we're looking at here is how to uh, price a floor multiplier for the same footprint, same line in a different building. So let's say you got a D line that's uh, on the 20th floor. How do you compare that to the D line on the fifth floor? And the basic things you're looking at is a drastic change in view. If there is a drastic change in view, you need to up that multiplier to 10 to $15,000 per floor. If there is not a drastic change in view, you have to lower that floor multiplier to five to $10,000 per floor. Got it. So let's do a little role play. I have a third floor apartment. I know the 17th floor sold for a million dollars. It's the exact same floor footprint, and I think it's the same price as the 17th floor. Right. What are you going to tell me? So you got a 14th floor difference, and what you got to do is basically I would up that since there is a drastic change in view. The third floor is not going to get much light, not much exposure, not much view. I would probably do a $15,000 floor multiplier, uh, 12 to $15,000 floor multiplier, and go up with some type of premium for that, for that 17th floor. Got it. Happy holidays. Thanks, Noah, so Thank much.